Evans is the Greek Minister for the Climate Crisis and Civil Protection and he joins us now on the line from Athens. Minister, thank you so much for your time. The Greek uh, support team were one of the first to deploy to Turkey after this disaster. Can you talk us through the kinds of operations that those teams have been conducting here in the disaster zone? Thank you. Uh, first of all, allow me to express once again, on behalf of Prime Minister Mitsotakis and of the Greek people, our condolences to the victims and their families. Greece uh, stands by the Turkish people at this uh, tragic time, and Greece will continue to stand with you for as long as it takes, doing whatever we can to support you. But uh, you are completely right. Greece responded immediately to the call of the Turkish government for assistance. Prime Minister Mr. Takis gave to all of us, all ministers, in particular to me, clear instructions to do whatever possible to address your needs. I conducted immediately foreign minister Tsavusoglu, my dear friend, when uh, I was uh, uh, EU commissioner for humanitarian aid and crisis management, and, for, and because of our many visits in, in Turkey in the past, and also your ambassador to Athens, and my dear friend, former ambassador Burak, and other officials to coordinate our response. And I must say that we work very effectively together. So in the first hours after the earthquake, our special search and rescue units from the firefighting brigade, EMAC 1 and 2, were mobilized. 36 firefighters, three officer engineers, with expertise in supporting collapsed buildings together with three especially trained search and rescue dogs and eight doctors and paramedics joined their Turkish colleagues in the fight against time just to save lives. In parallel, Minister, they sound like very, very specific uh, skills that they have, very important and specific skills, um, which are so needed at this time. How successful have they been? I have seen uh, on some of our uh, vision Greek rescue operations and Greek teams saving people from the rubble. What have they been able to tell you about their operations on the ground? But, uh, Please give me the chance to continue, because in parallel, we mobilized humanitarian assistance, which was targeted to address the immediate needs of the victims, spending more than 80 tons of humanitarian assistance using eight flights by Aegean Airlines. This aid included essential medical supplies, as well as thousands of blankets, pets, and tents that can be used by families or turn it to mobile hospitals. I think this is very important uh, because it is immediate need. Mm. As you know, I was on board on the first plane carrying this aid in the early hours last Thursday. This overnight operation lasted four hours and was completed by Thursday evening. Let me here thank once again Ambassador Mehmet Yuluoglu and other Turkish officials that welcome us at, at Atana Airport at a very difficult moment. And of course, thank you to the teams from our two countries that made possible this very, very difficult humanitarian operation. Mm. Now, Minister, can I ask you, our, I mean, we can't ignore the fact Yes, our Minister, if I could just ask you, we, we, we can't ignore the, the 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 uh, the obvious uh, point that sometimes Turkey and Greece don't always see eye to eye. Is this an example of how, when it really matters, politics is put aside and people come first? But uh, also give me the chance to say about our search and rescue teams, uh, which are operated at the Hadai region, around 10 kilometres from the centre of Antagia, and as we speak, this team, the Greek search and rescue teams, continue their uphill fight to find more victims alive, to bring, to bring them out of the ruins alive. It's difficult to talk about uh, that this is a sort of success in the, face, in the face of such unprecedented tragedy. The catastrophe is beyond any imagination. Nevertheless, every life 
you save under such tragic circumstances is, is, is a sort of success. Every person coming out alive from the ruins allow us to smile. And of course, our people, the Greek, the Greek team, saved lives. And of course, they smile when they, they saw and they realized that Oh, it sounds like we have lost the line to uh, to the Greek minister there for civil services. We apologise for that technical glitch. We were just speaking to Christos um, Stylianidis, who was giving us an update on the Greek operations uh, here in the disaster area.